So welcome to this week's Master Pairings with Dr. Bill. Uh, Dr. Bill, what do we got today? Well, today we have uh, a couple of things. We have cheeses and some mussels, and then we have a lambic and a uh, saison. So the cheese I selected today was Morbier. It's a French cow semi-soft cheese. It's uh, got a layer of uh, vegetal ash in between that is usually made out of grape leaves. And what they do is they take the morning milk and then the evening milk and they create a cheese out of it. So it's two different layers. So that's not actually a, a line of like mold or... No, no, that's not mold. That's ash and it's neutral in flavor. So you wouldn't... It's not like you would take a bite and it'd ruin the cheese because it'd be smoky or okay. or anything like that. And then what I did, I prepared some black mussels. Um, I used a little uh, St. Louis Goose Fond Tradition, uh, parsley, shallots, uh, lemon, and a little garlic. Right. And so we'll try those. And I thought we'd try them with both of these. Traditionally, I like to cook a lot of mussels with uh, gooses or lambics. Uh, and then I like to either drink them with saisons or also lambic. So the two beers I chose today was uh, Dupont Saison. Mm -hmm. um, this is a classic farmhouse ale at six percent. It's really nice. It's um, actually it might be more than six percent. Let me just double check that real quick. Six point five uh, percent alcohol, and it's going to go really nice with the floral and spicy notes from that. And I also picked. Uh, Hansen's Oud Goose, which is a blend of one and three year old lambics. Um, it is 6% alcohol and it's very sharp, lemony, kind of get this iced tea quality acidic flavor. Excellent. So they should go really nice. So if you want to open that and pour it in our stemware, I will pour these in. Uh, well, I have a traditional Hansen's glass. You have a Rodenbach glass. But oh, well, you know. That's okay. You you are the man for this, this episode. So while we're doing that, um, the, the mussels, it was a very easy easy thing to make because you, you tossed in the, the shallots and the, the lemon and the parsley, cooked it over some butter, poured in the goose, and then tossed in the mussels and let it all kind of... Yeah, it just needs a couple moments to steam, and uh, it works really well. Really, all you're doing is putting in a little butter and the shallots and garlics and um, letting them... Uh, go for just a, a moment or two. Don't really want to brown them. Right. Um, and then once you do that, uh, once they've started to pick up some flavor, uh, then you go ahead and just add in the goose, uh, a little parsley and some lemon. And we picked out all this up at our local supermarket. Um, the With the mussels though, if they don't open, don't eat them. Correct. When you're checking mussels, you want to clean them. If they're wild mussels, you want to wash them three or four times. You want to check and make sure that they are closed. If they're not closed, you want to squeeze them. If they stay closed once you squeeze them, that means they're still alive and they're good to go. If they're cracked where you can see the actual muscle inside the shell or they don't close, throw them out. Okay. And then a lot of times they'll have a little beard back by the hinge and you just want to get a pair of uh, little, literally uh, wire clippers and just uh, clean them out. So what I thought we'd try first is I thought we'd try uh, the cheese with the saison. Okay. I'm going to drink a little of this first, though, just to... Sure. Once again, whenever you're tasting anything, as far as beers, wine, spirits, you always want to take three sips. The first sip, you want to vigorously swish around in your mouth and cleanse your palate from the dentine gum you just had, the cigarette you smoked, the previous beer, anything like that. After that, you want to take a second sip and do exactly what Steve just did, which was pull air in over the palate, and that opens up the palate. And then the third sip will give you the true flavor of the beer. When you taste something, you kind of want to let it coat your mouth, be in your mouth before you take um, the beer over it so you can get the, the accompaniment of the beer. This is a mild, creamy cheese. Mm, so good. Um, has a little hay, um, just really nice, a little crystallization in it, which I'm kind of surprised, but that's probably more from uh, the actual outer layer. But it tastes really wonderful, and I think it's gonna go oh, well with this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think it. Uh, the cheese still shows up, but the, this beer in particular, it brings out floral and hop notes with it, and it makes it just really, really enjoyable. Yeah, I think that this the beer when you when you drink the beer, you don't get a super strong flavor on it. 
And but it, when you eat the cheese, the flavor is strong enough to stay with you, and you don't lose it in the flavor of the cheese. And they they do complement complement each other real well. So now I'm gonna have us try a couple of the mussels with this beer. All right. And um, you can use your fork to pull off the mussels. They pull off fairly easily. Uh, what I do traditionally, what they do when you're in Belgium, is you'll go ahead and grasp. Use a pair like a maracas. Grasp the mussel. And even like that. With your fingers. Ooh. And then once you have an empty... Come to me. Once you have an empty one, uh, you just go ahead and use that for your utensil. Mm. Wow, it's good. Oh. Yeah, I really like the uh, the garlic flavors that you're mm -hmm. getting off the mussel. Right. Really just... Totally but they're not overwhelming. Well. They play oh, really no. well with the mm -hmm. spice of, of the uh, saison. And, but also you get a little of the acidity from the uh, Fond Tradition, the mm -hmm. St. Louis Goose, which shows really nicely in the shallots and it, and it just plays really nice with the unctuousness of the uh, mussels. <sighs> yeah, no, that works really well. Okay, now, and the bread is actually not to spread the cheese on, though you could, but I like to dip it in here. Oh yeah, have it. That's just, oh, yeah. Uh, perfect. Because the, the, the Goose kind of sauce you end up with is phenomenal. And um, actually, I've done this with Arrogant Bastard as well, the right. Stone's Arrogant Bastard, and that is also an amazing yeah. mix for these mussels. Yeah, you can do a lot. Classically, it's white wine, so a lot of people use wits, Belgian wits, wheat beers, or they use um, uh, gooses, like I said. Mm -hmm. So I think we should try the goose with the cheese now and the goose with the uh, mussels. All right. It has a really nice lemony nose, uh, almost like an iced tea aroma. Yeah. Your first sip is going to be wow, tart. But oh, yeah. once again, it's once like, you. Woo, pucker. By the time you get that third sip, it is just so satisfying. Lem think the best lemon iced tea you've ever had in your life. Yeah, definitely. It's just so good. It's, it's like, a, like a little so Arnold Palmer quenching. with a kick. Yeah. It's so thirst quenching. It's just delicious. Oh, yeah. This is this would definitely be a good hot afternoon kind of relaxing with your friends kind of beer. You know, people of course, you know, it's an expensive <laughs> people, you know, uh, say, you know, mass marketed beer is good, lawnmower beer, things like right. that, because it's hot. This is my lawnmower beer. Right. This is what I'm drinking while I'm mowing my lawn. <laughs> Ooh. Now with this beer. The cheese still takes a back seat, but what it does is it just brings the lemon out and makes the oh, yeah. lemon burst in your mouth. So it really accompanies the creaminess of the cheese. And it tones the sour down just a little it, bit. It, the sourness, but you still get that lemon you get the flavor. Yeah, you get all the flavor yeah, you of get, the lemon. You get the uh, acidic level brought down from the cheese, mm -hmm. and it plays perfectly into that. Oh, yeah. And um, I always like oh, washed rind cheeses. Uh, they can just go great with lambics and saisons, mm -hmm. but I, I think they play really well. Mm. That's excellent, yeah. I can sit here and drink this all day. <laughs> now, we've already got a goose in there, so um, it should be interesting to see how the interplay is. Mm. Once again, it doesn't take the back seat. You get the brininess of the sea but you get the acidic level drop down and you get this lemon tart flavor that's just amazing. Yeah, that just, oh. And this is this is a very, like, this is an amazing pre-dinner, sort of like, if you're if you're gonna be having some appetizers and whatever, a plate of plate of this with some cheeses and breads and even the, the Saison mm -hmm. or the goos out for your, your guests to try, that's, that's awesome. That's an excellent start to an amazing meal. Yeah, it's definitely up. Uh, it awakens your palate. Oh, yeah. So uh, this has been another master pairing with Dr. Bill. And believe me, it was masterful. Um, thank you very much. Sure. And uh, cheers. Cheers. Boom.